Good morning and welcome to the first of two kindergarten information sessions. I am Sandra Rodriguez Gomez and I am your very proud assistant superintendent of schools. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Christine Johnson, and our esteemed Board of Education, we would like to share details regarding our exciting and thriving kindergarten program. Today, you will hear from all three of our elementary principals as they share details regarding our program and the experiences that are specific and unique to this amazing school district. You will engage with them via a narrated video, which will bring you into the kindergarten world. I will, once the video concludes, I will be joined by our three principals, as well as the director of early childhood to engage with you via the Q&A option and answer any, que any questions you may still have. Please sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and we look forward to answering your questions. Please note that this presentation is indeed being recorded and will be posted on the district's website this Friday and by the end of the day. You will find it under the public relations tab. Lastly, all families will soon be notified of their school placements and the three elementary schools will invite you in for a kindergarten meet and greet early in September. On this day, you will connect with the principals for a tour and to meet critical staff members and students will have an opportunity to meet their teachers and engage in a welcome to kindergarten classroom project. How very exciting. Thank you for your attention to this presentation, and we look forward to informing and answering your questions shortly. Welcome to our kindergarten information session for students who will be rising to kindergarten this upcoming fall. This is the first of two sessions which will be held on this topic. This obviously is the first and the second will be on Thursday evening at 6 p.m. I am Sandra Rodriguez Gomez, your very proud assistant superintendent of schools and this morning, I will be joined by the Connors principal, Principal Juliana Addy, the Joseph F. Brandt principal, Mr. Char Charles Bartlett, and the Wallace school principal, Mr. Martin Shannon. The format for this session will include a brief welcome and overview. We will then play a narrated video which will share our philosophy, how we engage in uh, some logistics, like for instance, uh, school and classroom placements. When does school begin? When does it end? Descriptions and times for lunch and recess, among other things. We will then learn all about the programs that are unique to Hoboken Public Schools and really just set us apart from all other districts. It is some of these things that have ensured that we outperform both the county and the state in all tested areas. That is a huge badge of honor and one that we continue to work towards maintaining and actually growing. We will also learn about some services and some supports that can be found at all of our schools. This would include conversations around guidance counselors, nurses, the child study team, just to name a few. It will be chock full of information and will be recorded and posted on the district's website at the conclusion of round two's session. It is my goal to have it posted on the website, definitely under the public relations tab and certainly by the end of the week. 
Hi, my name is Juliana Addy, and I am the proud principal of Connors Elementary School. I've been the principal of Connors for the past five years. Before that, I was a biology and AP biology teacher at Hoboken High School for many years. If you grew up in Hoboken, I may have been your biology teacher. If I was your teacher, I'm sure you remember all the warmth, care, joy of learning, and focus on academic excellence that went into every lesson. This is the environment that we strive to create at every school in the district, in every classroom, in every lesson for every student. Today, I'm going to lead you through the kindergarten logistics. We are going to talk about school, and classroom placement, start and end times of a school day, class schedules, teacher and paraprofessional support, lunch and recess, and lastly, before and after care. Are you ready to get started? Let's talk about school and classroom placements. We have three elementary schools in the Hoboken Public School District, Wallace, Brands, and Connors. In late March or early April, you will receive a letter in the mail which will note which elementary school your child will be attending. We make sure to keep siblings together in the same school. So if you have a child in second grade at Wallace, your kindergartner will also attend Wallace. In addition, your child will either attend the closest school to your home or the second closest school to your home. This will cut down on your walking commute. In August, you will begin to receive newsletters from your school principal, which will have detailed information all about the upcoming school year. In those newsletters, you will receive a date that class placement letters will be mailed out. This is the letter that everybody waits at the edge of their seat for, wanting to find out who their child's homeroom teacher will be. This letter normally comes out at the end of August. You will also receive access to OnCourse, which is our student information system. You will be able to access your child's homeroom teacher from OnCourse as well during this time. Now let's talk about the start and end times of a school day. School begins promptly at 8.15 a.m. and it ends promptly at 3 o'clock p.m. We have arrival staff to greet the children in the morning. First period teachers pick up their classes right on time at 8.15. So please be sure to drop your child off on time in the morning and pick them up on time at dismissal at the end of the school day. In one of the August newsletters from your principal, you will receive information as to where your child should line up in the morning to meet their homeroom teacher, as well as they, where they should pick up your child at dismissal. Um, you will also receive information regarding any school specific arrival and dismissal protocol. Now let's talk about the schedule of a school day. At all of our elementary schools, there are nine periods in the school day. Each period is 45 minutes long. Students are going to have two periods of ELA, two periods of math, one period of social studies, and one period of ILP, which stands for the Individualized Learning Pathway. All those classes are taught by the child's homeroom teacher. Students will have one period for lunch, one period for science, which is taught, taught specifically by their science teacher, and one period of related arts. For the related arts classes, students will have one day a week of art, one day a week of music, and one day a week of Mandarin, and Mandarin is our world language class. Students will have two days a week of physical education. During one marking period out of the school year, which is typically fourth marking period for kindergarten, students will have one period of theater arts where students will prepare to perform a theater showcase for their parents, which is amazing. You're going to get to see your kiddos perform. Now let's talk about our teachers and paraprofessionals. Every kindergarten class has one homeroom teacher and one paraprofessional. Therefore, there are always two staff members in every kindergarten classroom. The paraprofessional stays with the children throughout the school day, 
some kindergarten classes may have an additional paraprofessional if the children in the class have an IEP that designates an additional paraprofessional in the classroom to support that specific child's needs. Now let's talk about lunch and recess. In all of our elementary schools, lunch and recess is dedicated to either period five, six, or seven on the schedule. The lunch and recess block totaling 45 minutes is divided in half. Uh, students are gonna get 20 minutes of lunch and 20 minutes of recess with about a five minute transition time between the two. Students can bring their lunch from home or they can purchase school lunch via their pay schools account. You're going to be receiving this information from your child's principal in the August newsletter about how to set up your child's pay schools account so you can purchase lunch for them at school. The cost of lunch is about $3.75 per child per day. In September, you will receive information about filling out a lunch application form. This form will help families qualify for free or reduced lunch. If you qualify, you will not need to pay for school lunch. The lunch menu is posted on our district website. In addition, you can sign your child up for lunch each week and choose what you want your child to eat through a Google form that your child's principal will send out to you. Lunch is well supervised. Our staff members, including some teachers, as well as your child's paraprofessional, will supervise and support our students during lunch. Let's talk about recess. We try to bring the students outside for recess every day. We are only indoors during inclement weather, meaning if it's too cold outside or if it's raining or snowing. Otherwise, we try to get outside every day and have the children breathe the fresh air. There is playground inclu equipment, including jungle gyms and basketball hoops, hopscotch, and more for the children to play on. Students can play with friends from their kindergarten class or with friends that they have from other kindergarten classes. This is a great time for children to socialize with each other with all of the free play. If due to the weather, the children need to be indoors for recess, recess can occur in the gym or in the homeroom classroom, depending upon if the gym is available or not. Students can play board games, dance games, pretend play, and more during indoor recess. Now let's talk about before and after care. Before care includes breakfast. You can drop your child off at school as early as 7.45 in the morning for before care and breakfast. There is no charge for before care, but there is a charge of $2 a day for breakfast. Breakfast is free for any child that qualifies for free or reduced lunch. The breakfast menu is posted on our district website and it's updated monthly. Before care and breakfast is not something that you have to sign up for in advance. You can just come any day that you would like your child to have breakfast at school. Or if you have to leave for work early in the morning, you can just drop your child off early at school at 745. Our staff members are going to make sure to bring your child to their child's homeroom line and we're going to be connecting them with their first period class. Let's talk about aftercare. Aftercare hours in our Passport to Learning program are from 3 o'clock and it can extend all the way until 6 o'clock p.m. if you choose. There are tons of amazing extracurricular activities including coding, chess, basketball, soccer, dance, girls on the run, and, and so much more. There is also academic support and homework help offered during Passport to Learning as well. You're going to be receiving information from our district with registration dates, courses offered, and sign-up information. In addition, our Passport to Learning Aftercare program is made to be affordable. The program is free for families who qualify for free lunch, and the program is reduced for those families who qualify for a reduced lunch. Okay, so I know I just gave you a quick overview of school and class placements, started end times of the school day, class schedules, teacher and paraprofessional support, lunch, recess, before and after care. Um, I knew it was a lot. In August, you're going to re be receiving much more detailed information from your school principal. So you have everything you're going to need for the start of the school year. 
But in the meantime, I hope that this information was helpful for you. I look forward to meeting all of you and welcome to the Hoboken Public School District. Hello, my name is Charles Bartlett and I've worked in the Hoboken Public School District for 11 years. I was the supervisor of language arts and humanities, the vice principal at Wallace, and I've been the principal at Brandt now for six years. I'm proud to say that Brandt, along with Wallace and Connors, is a U.S. News and World Report Best Elementary School, and we will all hopefully receive the designation as Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence in the coming months. I want to tell you about some things that are unique to our school district, starting with a special period that all of our elementary schools have each day from kindergarten through fifth grade. This period is known as the Individualized Learning Pathway Period. It really is quite special. The Individualized Learning Period is one of my favorite periods as a principal because I've seen so many children benefit from the work done during that time. We want to make sure that every child is getting what they need to be academically successful. So during this period, our teachers have the time to reteach content, review content, or extend content in English language arts and math. This is also the period where students may meet with a specialist in a small group. For example, some students meet with their English language learner teacher if they are limited English proficient. Others might meet with a reading specialist for response to intervention to build reading skills. When students enter second grade during this period, some have the opportunity to participate in the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth program if they qualify for that program. In short, the individualized learning pathway period allows for the needs of students to be met without sacrificing subject area instructional time. In Hoboken, we have a strong commitment to the related arts. Students participate in two days of physical education, one day of art, one day of music, and one day of world language over a five-day school week. Additionally, our students receive one marking period of theater instruction. Our instrumental and strings programs start in fourth grade and our choral program begins in third grade. Where many school districts cut funding to the arts, we fully fund these programs to create opportunities for our students. This is celebrated and on full display as the Hoboken Public School District was recently named the National Best School Community for Music and our theater program continues to receive yearly accolades. Our sports teams have surging numbers, with many of those teams being in the running for league, county, and state championships. All of the success experienced in these arenas by our older students has a solid foundation laid as early as kindergarten. The Hoboken Public School District is data-driven. Some may think that this means we are heavily focused on test preparation. That's not actually why or how we operate. We allow data to drive our instructional decisions. For example, all children in kindergarten through grade two sit for the developmental reading assessment four times per school year. This one-on-one -on -one assessment allows our professional educators to determine which children need a bit more support in order to read on grade level and which have already met or exceeded those benchmarks. Students also take the Linkit benchmark in English language arts and math three times a year. These mini assessments help our teachers create a plan for each student to be used during our individualized learning pathway period. In addition to the ILP period, the Hoboken Public School District continues to be on the cutting edge of innovative practices, most recently through our creation of a dual language pathway. The goal is for students in the program to become proficient and literate in both English and Spanish while also meeting high academic standards and succeeding in our multicultural society and global economy as a result of growing cross-cultural competencies. It is the intent of the Hoboken Public School District to expand this program annually, creating this opportunity for students in grades K through 8 by 2031-2032. Students in a dual language classroom receive 50% of instruction in English and 50% in the partner language. The Hoboken Public School District intends to achieve this by splitting the day's academic subjects, teaching 50% of them in Spanish and 50% of them in English. It also intends to employ this model simultaneously by delivering reading instruction in both languages. The Hoboken Public School District's dual language program is open to all enrolled rising kindergarten students who reside in Hoboken and students are selected to participate in the dual language program through a lottery process. You might be wondering how parents and guardians can get involved in our school community and in the district. 
First, on a classroom level, we have class parents that volunteer to help our teachers with organizing activities and communicating with families. Second, all of our schools have an active PTO. This dedicated group of parents help to organize school events and assemblies. They serve as key communicators and they help raise money for special activities. If you would like to get involved on a grander scale, you can also reach out to the folks at the Hoboken Public Education Foundation. The foundation is a group of dedicated parents, guardians, and community members that focus on large scale initiatives for all of our schools. Through their fundraising efforts, the opportunities outside of the classroom expand considerably through field trips and other activities generously funded by the HPEF. Some of the intentional trips they've worked to schedule with us include excursions to the outdoors and visits to art museums. Speaking of those activities, our school district hosts so many opportunities for families and students to learn and grow. We host annual curriculum nights in all subject areas, art shows, elementary, middle, and high school concerts, district-wide plays and musicals, as well as school-based events like bingo nights, the ever-popular staff versus parents basketball games, and school dances, just to name a few. I am proud to wholeheartedly say that very few, if any, districts or schools out there are providing the opportunities for students and families the way we are in the Hoboken Public School District. And I hope that you feel your child will be in good hands with tremendous opportunities on the horizon as you join us in kindergarten. Good day, everyone. My name is Martin Shannon, and I've worked in the Hoboken Public Schools for 24 years. I have taught English. I was the director of athletics. I was a vice principal, and I have been the proud principal of Wallace Elementary School for the last 10 years. Today, I will assist you by capturing all of the incredible supports at all of our elementary schools. The Hoboken Public Schools have a full-time guidance counselor as well as Fortitude Social and Mental Health Service clinicians available to all students in need of support in the social and emotional space. These professionals are always on call for the needs of all of our students. We also have a full-time school nurse on staff in all three elementary schools. In Wallace, it is Nurse Kanapka. In Connors, it is Nurse Murata. And in Brant, it is Nurse Nueva. In each building, we also house a complete child study team consisting of a social worker, a learning consultant, and a school psychologist on site. The interdisciplinary process that these service professionals provide include, but are not limited to, student observations, information from the student's family and classroom teachers, and an individual team testing. These services also include annual reviews and evaluations of classified students through the offices of special services. Each school also possesses a full-time services in speech, occupational therapy, and physical therapy for students who require those supports. These three related disciplines in rehabilitation work together to treat students as a whole. Each discipline has a different focus, but there are some areas of overlap. These services also fall under the umbrella of special services. Last, but certainly not least, we also offer ELL support for our English language learners. Mix Meza pulls students during the ILP or the Individualized Learning Pathway period for those in need of support in the form of language acquisition. It is easy to see with all of the amazing things happening with all of our dedicated community members that the Hoboken Public Schools is surely the place to be. I look forward to meeting all of you as you join us in kindergarten. And now to promoting readiness at home. On this uh, slide deck, you will see some recommendations about what are some things that you can do at home in order to prepare or best prepare your child for the kindergarten experience. Uh, the first thing that I want to share is a personal anecdote. Uh, when my daughter was going from pre-K four to kindergarten, I used the summer to label my entire house. It's a little bit uh, much, but um, I found such effectiveness in that practice. And so what does that mean? Like the door, I would put a white index card with black print on it and write door, the light switch, a uh, table, um, refrigerator, microwave, uh, floor, light, all of those things. So what I found is that she, the more exposure she had, the more 
inquiry it, it created and we would talk about words uh we would talk about letters and the sounds that they make and so that's just something that i tried uh in order to get my uh daughter ready for the kindergarten experience but here you'll see that helping children to uh put on a jacket or take off a jacket put on a sweater take off a sweater um ensuring that that they are comfortable uh, utilizing the bathroom um, that they can open their little lunch containers um, or attempt to at least so we want to see that they are making an effort uh, towards self-sufficiency uh, another thing is that when you see children being independent and doing just these things that i've talked about honoring that celebrating it maybe taking a picture and first time um, you open your uh, milk carton on your own and celebrating those small moments. Another really, really big deal is uh, reading to children nightly. We recommend, uh, and all the research would suggest, reading anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes every night. Uh, as children then, of course, get older, uh, reading uh, chapters uh, within larger chapter books uh, to ensure that no matter at what stage they are in their development or how old they may be, that this is uh, a wonderful experience and everyone, trust me, everyone enjoys a good read aloud. I uh, was uh, um, at a presentation and I opened with a read aloud to adults and they really enjoyed it. Uh, another really important piece is um, you're hearing a lot about the science of reading uh, and recommendations from the National Reading Council on uh, best practices in literacy. Uh, we would love if you would want to engage in this over the summer or in preparation for kindergarten, and that is practicing letter sounds. And I've linked um, I've linked a really awesome one that we use in our kindergarten through second grade classrooms, so that children can begin to engage in uh, phonological awareness and 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 language acquisition. So that video is there for you to use at home. Uh, I re would recommend kind of like having it play in your car as you guys are enjoying uh, your evenings or on the weekdays, that is something that we have seen uh, really is impactful. I said labeling your home and I've listed that there, making math uh, and uh, problem solving activities uh, at home. An example of that might be sorting. Sorting is a critical um content skill and specifically in mathematics uh so maybe sorting cutlery or uh, putting cans in order or identifying letters on cans i mean all of these things uh, will really transform your home into an environment that is conducive to teaching and learning parents are the first teachers um, engaging in rich conversations with your child absolutely being developmentally appropriate uh, and sporadically using larger multisyllabic words and then explaining them away. Uh, and so the next time that your child hears them, they, they will have some affinity to the word and won't be um, afraid to engage in that type of, of word modeling. Allowing your child to express his or her opinions, of course, in a respectful manner, builds agency uh, and allows children to self-advocate. Um, letting your child see you as a reader and as a problem solver, acknowledging, oh, geez, mom has a problem and I wonder how I can solve it. Uh, those are always really good uh, moments that are rooted in modeling and will certainly fill your child's toolbox with ways to approach difficult moments. And lastly, teach your child to reflect on every event and activity. What do you think about that? And what about that was fun for you? And um, you had to do it all over again, what would you change or what would you do the same? Um, these are all really awesome moments to help prepare uh, children for the big leap that is kindergarten. We hope you have enjoyed your time with us today. We also hope that you have learned a lot more than you knew coming into this presentation regarding our kindergarten program. I want you to feel confident in the fact that all of our experiences and academic programs uh, are the same across the district. We think that uh, that is really important to ensure that all children have the same experience. Uh, and we're very happy that that is in fact the case. Um, as we continue to communicate regarding 
uh, school placements. And later on in August, principals will communicate classroom placements. On the first day of, of when folks come back to work from the summer, we will have a kindergarten meet and greet at your uh, school location uh, in alignment with your placement. And so please do look forward to that. And how do you stay in touch with us? This uh, last uh, slide, we'll share that. Uh, certainly our website is a really wonderful place to begin. Everything that you need to know about um, public relations or curriculum or assessment or data, everything lives on the website. Um, additionally, once you uh, become, once we are welcomed into uh, your school for kindergarten, you're going to get lots of information regarding our student information system. We use uh, Encores in the district. Additionally, uh, the Herald is a weekly uh, newsletter that goes out from the school level and then uh, from the uh, office of the superintendent where she uh, creates uh, a district facing uh, newsletter so that families are really uh, informed about all of the amazing and wonderful things happening in Hoboken Public Schools. Uh, and also we have uh, digital backpacks that from time to time and based on the messaging are uh, shared at the principal level and certainly to homes. And so thank you for your attention and we look forward to seeing you in our kindergarten classrooms across the district and in the fall. Hello, and we really hope that you enjoyed the presentation. At this time, our team is in another room ready uh, and ready and excited to engage with you uh, during the Q&A portion of our presentation. Thank you so much, and we will be in, I will be back after the Q&A is about to wrap.
Hello, and thank you for joining us for the first kindergarten information session. We answered over 100 questions, and we hope that um, you were one of the ones that we were speaking directly to and that our uh, responses were clear. Uh, at this time, we will conclude the uh, kindergarten information session. Please note that this is recorded, and I will post it on the district's website on Friday after we do Thursday's PM session. Thank you so much for joining us.